Hello everyone, today we are unboxing the Essex Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 1 and we are also doing a comparison with the 8 year old Iron Man Mark 1 from Revotech. So you can see the similarities and also the differences between these two Iron Man Mark 1. First of all, out of the box, there are a bunch of accessories coming together with the Iron Man, including a pair of extra hands, two firing effects for the hands, three firing effects for the feet, and also a pair of eyes. Now without further ado, let's compare it with the Revotech. The Revotech Iron Man Mark 1 was produced in 2012, so it is basically 8 years old now. But both of them are sharing a similar level of articulation, not much, but enough. I don't think anyone is expecting to put it in superhero landing pose. In terms of the details, both Revotech and Essex Figure Arts has very high level of details. The first difference you will notice when you put them together is the paint application. To me, I think the Essex Figure Arts has a more metallic paint, which is more shiny and glossy. But when you turn it to the back, I do think the 8 year old Revotech has more details. For example, when you look down to the left leg, the engineering and also the paint application is more complicated on the Revotech. And at this green section, the left hand side Revotech is made of soft padding material, while SHF is the same material as the other parts. And then on the silver armor section, the Revotech on the left hand side is a little bit more rusty. And also the left hand side Revotech has a little bit more details, especially on the welding sections between the silver armors. When putting the two side by side, I do think the SH figures is a bit cleaner, especially on the edges which is also darker in terms of color tones. Now this is a closer shot, so now you will know what I mean by the welding among the silver armors. Now when we look at the bottom of the feet, both of them are actually very similar in terms of the details. Both of them comes with the firing effects, but they are in different texture. The firing effects from the Revotech is matte finish, and the one from Essex Figuarts is more glossy and transparent. Another area where you can see the Revotech has more details is on the left arm, where there is an extra missile inside. And the SH Figure Arts version does not even have this section. Now about the weight. Revotech weighs around 133 grams, and the SH Figure Arts weighs around 94 grams. So the SH Figure Arts is actually lighter than the Revotech for about 30 to 40 percent. But one thing that is special on the SH Figure Arts is the firing effects on the feet, which is not existing on the Revotech version. So the SH Figurats can replicate the flying pose. This is really something new to me and I really like this part. And there is one more thing that the Revotech version does not have. And there is the details of the eyes on the SH Figurats version. So far, I have briefly mentioned it all of the differences and similarities between these two versions. So which one do you prefer? Revotech or the SH Figure Arts? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.